My name is Innocent Agonza Ateni. I am a beneficiary of my divine scholarship in the lot of 2009. I was doing a Bachelor's of Agrobusiness Management and Community Development. Um, getting the scholarship, I think the way I got the information, first it was from a friend. Someone told me, yeah, there's, a, there's a scholarship. Obviously, you know how Uganda is. At first, you don't believe, okay, will I get it? But obviously, I was financially stressed. I didn't have money. I am a total orphan. I lost my mother who was the last hope. I think I was in P1, yeah. And my firstborn was in P5, my sister. So we were there straight. But obviously, when our mother died, she had left a line of people who were like, trying to help, but they couldn't help. The truth is that. But they were trying. The friend was also from Porto who gave me the poster about my divan. He said, please do apply. What I remember even, uh, the guy took me, my friend who told me about a poster, took me to a cafe, downloaded uh, the application form, started filling. I submitted. The next time we were shortlisted, I was like, hey, Jesus. That one wanted my head. My head and my. Uh, okay, I had to prove myself. Like, yes, I need to go and tell the truth and leave everything to God. But I, like I, I thought it came true. I came with my maternal uncle. I slept at his place. Brought me Senate building, sixth floor. Such. Put my papers. They asked me every question. One thing that I blundered was, I remember, but I was corrected by Miss Magona. She asked me about my guardian's uh, activity and I said she's just a prison, which was really disgusting. Just is something that's not right. So I would have said she is a prison because it's where I've been surviving from. So from there, I was left to go. The next time, check the website, I was shocked. This said, I think that was where. I think like awakening call. From there, I had to prove myself. Read, as in read. And my guardian was very, very happy. I am sure even now she respects me like very much. I have played my role. Even when you are not fun, you need to go an extra mile and find is there any viable way you can survive even when you don't have anything to do. Because there are so many people who took this uh, scholarship opportunity lightly. They, they knew it wasn't anything. Though I was in school, she got no like, okay, this guy is serious. Even when I'm constrained, he knows my situation that I'm going through. He's also finding a way. Can we, can he stay in school? And I played the role. He says, okay, you've tried to find school fees for yourself. I'm sure she doesn't have, oh, maybe, I don't know if an opportunity will ever happen. Maybe she gets to see the people who sponsored us as a guardian. I'm sure she would want to hug the guys because she was relieved from the stress. But one advice for anyone out there who really, you really see yourself you want to study, you're intelligent and you're financially not well. Try your luck. Get a website, www.madivanfoundation.com. Download the form and apply. I'm sure that's just trying your luck and make sure that you don't lie. Because they don't favor anyone, but they really, they are critical to know do you really need a financial help? That's what I do. So try your luck, apply, and see what will help. Me, I'm sure I wouldn't have finished. I would say I thank this, the, this scholarship scheme. If you really want also to see your future tomorrow, please apply. I'm sure it will help you. As long as you're telling the truth and you're intelligent, you know you'll finish your school.